Hey guys, welcome to another Idol Results Show recap. Uh, 33 million votes this week, not too shabby. I was sitting there thinking, why didn't Shania perform? And then I realized she wasn't even in the audience. I guess she had a prior commitment. So Rascal Flats opened the show with their hit, Unstoppable. Um, they were okay, if you like that sort of thing. Uh, the green ears that the uh, lead singer had in to hear the music. It just made me think of Shrek the whole time. It was really weird. All right, so we went behind the scenes of the Ford music video. Uh, this week, it's the Idol Vampires. I was excited when they were doing a vampire theme because vampires are so hot right now. And Siobhan made the best vampire. She was pure evil. Um, they did uh, their song, Believe. I thought it was a little lame. Mike with the garlic pizza. I mean, couldn't they do something a little more Twilight? Or Vampire Diaries or something? Or... True Blood, or... I don't know. It just went nowhere. All right, so they went to go visit Mike Mitchell in the studios of uh, where they're making Shrek Forever After. They tried to lay down some voice tracks. It's a little bit harder than it looks. Uh, then they were treated to an advanced screening, a little red carpet. It was pretty cool. And then they trotted out Cameron Diaz and Antonio Banderas. I remember the first time I saw Antonio Banderas in a movie was Interview with the Vampire. Another vampire tie-in. And he was sexy. He could barely speak English. And apparently he can still barely speak English because Ryan was pleading with him. <laughs> Just say the line, dim the lights, and here we go. And he didn't know what to do. Oh, Antonio. All right, so Ryan had his lineup. Um, Siobhan and Lee on one side of the stage. Crystal and Aaron in the middle, and Michael and Casey on the other end. Then he walked Siobhan over to Michael and Casey and said, Voila, bottom three. Pretty much what I was expecting. All right, so Carrie under... Except, you know, maybe Aaron was going to be in there, but he had a solid uh, performance yesterday, so I'm glad that he wasn't, because he would have been robbed if he was in the bottom. All right, Carrie Underwood up next, introducing Sons of Sylvia. I had never heard of this group before, and they sang their song, Love Left to Lose. They were pretty good. Did you check out the mandolin player? He was so into it. It was really cool. And then the lead singer guy whipped out a friggin' violin and started playing it. That is the first time I've ever seen a lead singer whip out a violin and start playing it. It's pretty cool. All right, Lady Antebellum was up next. It was like so many musical acts this week. It was great. Need You Now. Uh, I've never seen Lady Antebellum before either, and uh, I thought they were really good, and they make country music sexy. They're a good-looking band. All right, so then Ros Rascal Flatts came out again with Shakira, and I really like Shakira. They sang Gypsy. I didn't realize Shakira can play a harmonica, but I'm really disappointed because she really didn't do much dancing at all. I mean, it was minimal. So that sucks because, like, Shakira is, uh, you know, half dancing, half singing. So I only got, like, half singing, one quarter dancing. I'm a little hungry. All right, so her advice to the idols, keep your eye on the stars and your feet on the ground. And yes, Ryan, you are right. That is Casey Kasem's line. All right, so let's get to the elimination. Mike is safe. That means it's either going to be Casey or Siobhan. Oh, Siobhan is eliminated. I have to say I'm really going to miss her. Not so much for the singing, but definitely for the style. Because guess what, kids? 20 years ago, I was Siobhan. All right, so next week, it's going to be Harry Connick Jr. as the mentor. And get ready for this, Maddie. This is like Maddie's favorite. Uh, the songs of Frank Sinatra. Yeah, I can hear Maddie squeal from here. All right, kids, till next week. Much love.